If you want a perfect clean tone, the cleanest of cleans, this is the secret. You need to get an amplifier, whether it's virtual or physical, that has two volume knobs, the gain knob. So here on my Vox AC15, it's called the volume knob, and then the master volume knob. So the role of the gain knob is gonna tell you how much overdrive will I, I add to my sound. Do I have it super clean, a little overdriven, very overdriven, and then the master volume is how loud do I want to put that structure that I chose on the first volume knob. So typically for many genres of music like rock and blues, you want a fair amount of gain like this, and then the master volume knob is going to be to, to your desired volume, such as when you play and you pick softly, you're still going to get a clean tone. <laughs> But when you lean into it, you're gonna get some overdrive. So, and some players are gonna roll off the volume knob on the guitar to kind of judge how clean it's gonna be. Right? And it's, it's a super nice tone, but if you want a very clean sound like me, you're playing ambient guitar or like clean guitar looping, or you just want a great clean tone, you have to do the opposite, super low on the gain knob and higher on the master volume. So I'm gonna put that one down and I'm gonna raise the master volume higher. So now I'm gonna get the same amount of volume, it's just gonna be way cleaner. So once again, if I play softly. But if I lean into it. It's gonna stay super clean because I have a low gain structure and then I raise that up. So you can almost see it as uh, viewing it from right to left, right? You plug into the amp, then you decide on your gain structure and the EQ, right? Here I have a treble and a bass knob. Then if you have some effects, here I have a reverb and tremolo, it's next. And at the end of that, you raise the volume of all of that. Like you have a preamp and a power amp to power it up, right? So that's the next question. Some people might be asking, so you're not using an FX loop with that setup? And the answer is no, because my clean is so clean that it's never going to get overdriven. <laughs> So it doesn't matter anymore. The, the, the role of the FX loop is that you don't overdrive your reverbs and your delays. Typically, you want the overdrive first and then your delay and reverbs last, right? It's not really beautiful to have a, an overdriven reverb tone. So when you put the FX loop, you go through your gain structure, then you add the delay on the time-based effects, the reverb and such, and then you power it up and you raise the volume. But when it's super clean, even if my reverbs and delays are before the gain knob, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> So I have not been using an FX loop for a decade and it's working really well for me. And one more detail, when you, I say that you should raise the master volume up, it doesn't mean that it needs to be super high. For home usage, you might have the gain knob like this and the master knob almost identical to it because amps are so loud sometimes. So even at a quarter of the way through, that might be enough for my need. Now it seems quiet because I really lowered the gain to record that video to, on my audio interface, but in my room it's plenty loud, I can tell you. Step number two is optional, but if you want a larger than life sounding clean tone, you can play in stereo by having two different amplifiers. It could be the same one or different ones, like you see I have very different amps that are complementary, and you do the same thing on both. 
low gain and high mastery volume. And when you record them, you're gonna hard pan them to the left and the right, and that's gonna give you a really nice spread. I have other videos on how to play in stereo, but in a nutshell, you only need a pedal at the end of your pedal board, whether it's a delay or a reverb or a looper that has two outputs and you just plug one cable to the left on the left amp and one cable on the right amp and there you go. And the last step for my perfect clean tone is to add some time-based effects. For right now, it's too dry. <laughs> It sounds great, but it's too dry, so I'm gonna add a delay effect. It can be any type, digital, analog. I'm gonna use a tape delay with my Strymon El Capistan, and I'm gonna put a nice amount of repeats, but lower mix, so that way it's gonna resonate for a long time in the background, but it's never gonna be too loud. It's never gonna get in the way of what I'm playing. So if I play dry, And now I add the delay. So it's still there, it's still, you can perceive it a lot, but when I play arpeggios or chords or it's not getting in the way, but it adds to the ambience. And then I'm gonna do a kind of the same principle with a reverb pedal. So I'm gonna remove the delay for now so that you can hear only the reverb. So I'm gonna put the mix knob a little lower, but the depth knob or the feedback knob higher so that it resonates longer, but doesn't get in the way. Same principle, right? So dry once again and then with the reverb. So my favorite types are a hull or a plate reverb for that. And then if I combine the delay and the reverb, it goes like this. So I was leaning into it so that you can hear that there is not any overdrive, any breakup when I play. It's super clean, it's beautiful. And I love to use it to layer and loop with a looper pedal. As many layers as I'm gonna add, it's not gonna make a difference. It's not gonna distort overdrive. It's gonna stay clean the whole time. It's gonna stay beautiful. So let's do a little jam for fun. So no matter how many layers I add, it stays super clean, super ambient. I love it. So if you want to learn how to make arrangements like I just did, add many layers and tweak your tones with your reverbs and delays to create ambience like this, you should enroll in my free mini course, A Beginner's Guide to Ambient Guitar. It's the first link in the description box. I'm going to help you dial in some really crafty and cool tones with your delay and reverb effects and how to layer them 
them with a looper to create an arrangement like this. So it's completely free. It's my gift to you for watching my video until the end. So you can uh, enroll for it free, totally free. First link in the description box below. And I'm going to see you real soon in a new video. Until next time, au revoir.